Shock and Toy Reviews presents Super 7's The Worst Black Falcon Undead Warlord of Doom figure. So, uh, The Worst is Super 7's tribute to all those knockoff wonderful toys from our youth. And they usually do them in retro five points of articulation. Uh, they do have a few uh, six inch scale guys. Six or seven. Yes. Okay. He-Man scale. There's six. Okay. Thundercat scale. Um, and they're just a bunch of random mashup guys. And three years ago when I ordered this, he looked fucking cool. And then a bunch of guys came in between, and I don't like Super 7 as much. Yeah, I was going to bring and, that up. And, and, and here he is. Silverhawks. Yeah, Silverhawks. Uh, this guy's well-painted. He is well-painted. Um... Maybe the audience can guess why you bought him. Can you guess why I bought him? Viking thing? Kinda. He's a, a skeleton Viking dead guy. Um, Vikings don't have horns. The sculpt is certainly there. And it's it's well painted. I don't know that I agree with their color choice of kind of wood grain chest armor. Wilson contributes to the video. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Uh, yeah, that's why they're called the worst. Like, just look them up. They're, they're just these knockoff-looking toys. And uh, back when I ordered him, I thought he would be great and fun. And he looks kind of great. He's kind of fun-ish. Uh, but, yeah, he has a ton of detail and little... His armor's all sculpted all the way around and he's got paint on his back unlike some other toys he's got a gold necklace up there he's got a wired cape that has battle damage um, so yeah he can so what is not fun about him what is not fun about him is the range of his articulation like most recent so uh he has single jointed elbows that can't get ninety degrees. Mm. He does. He has Hasbro's ish, so he can't. He can swivel his wrist, but he doesn't have. Or he does bicep. What? Oh, never mind. He does have bicep. It's just so many spikes and tight that I couldn't get either one to move and I'm pretty sure that one will break um and then yeah he's he's got the typical skirt mm. he can kick back can't go forward um that's pretty good forward can't get 90 degrees no this this bicep is stuck oh this one moved which is why I thought this one didn't move which is why I thought he didn't have them a little bit of range there. A little bit of range there. He he looks cool. Uh, the 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 articulation range is not where I would want it. At this cost, point. especially at this cost point. But I should have known. But I didn't know because I feel Super Seven has been skimping on things. But he's got tons of paint. Like look at those knees. Tons of stuff, too. He does come with tons of stuff. Like this. So he has a slash and a broken horn. Looks pretty awesome. Same level of paint and sculpt. Also has a Ghost Rider head, which is pretty incredible. Is it the same sculpt as the slash one? Skull-wise? I think it's the same except for the slash, but it is the same screaming face. Oh, so the slash is actually in the skull. Okay. Yeah. If anyone didn't realize, I literally just opened this guy seconds before uh, while I was getting shooed out for being a terrible reviewer. <laughs> also a rather giant weapon. Yeah. Pitchfork of Doom. Oh. There's a tiny amount of slop along here. It's not in focus, but trust me, it's there. <laughs> Otherwise, the sculpt is good. I believe you. I'm sure it will go into a hand. Uh, not these hands, because <coughs> these are 
Not those hands. Horse hands. He also comes with a pretty nice looking sword. Yeah, I like the sword. Not Viking accurate. Eh. He's an undead Lord of Doom. He's he's gonna fight Skeletor. He's Orange Skeletor. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. There's possibly a paint chip there. I don't know what that is. Possibly. Comes with a shield and a handle. More things to put into hands. Hmm. Hands, you say. Including, weirdly, a thermos. thermos. What? A thermos. <laughs> I didn't finish reading the back of the box. I don't know if the thermos is mentioned. Uh, he is seeking the death rail of all sworn enemies. Hashtag everyone. He comes with a sack lunch. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? It's <laughs> pretty awesome. Tiny bird? I don't know what this is supposed to do. But hey. It goes with his bird theme of his shield and his... And his belt. I don't just don't oh, know what... He throws that at bad guys. Oh, it's like a batarang? Uh, sh- it's a yes. falkerang? Yeah. <sighs> Live and learn and shock and awe. New word. It comes with some fists. For punching. Comes with, uh, not quite. The circle game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> comes with skeleton hands. These look sick as hell. Uh, they are holding hands. Also holding hands for uh, to match his usual armor. Do they go up and down? These are in and out. Sons of bitches. All of them appear to be in and out. And he can. He can hold the sack lunch. Yes. Do we have to do a size comparison? We don't have to do anything. We can just call it now. Well, I'm saying we described him as a six inch guy. Scale. Yep, seven inch. So all of the hands are in and out, not up and down, which is kind of a bummer for the weaponry. Especially for swords. It's just. You'd think they'd learn by this time. You'd think. Well, they clearly haven't been watching our show. Maybe he can hold the bird in this and throw it. Maybe. So I couldn't get the pinch to hold it, but you can wedge it in there. Thoughts? I don't like it. (laughs) Three and a half. (laughs) Two. Oh, uh, I, I, the fact that he doesn't move as much as he should is bothersome. Find him a little flat, and I don't think the cape works. And I don't understand it. Like, why a thermos and a sack lunch? I'm not holding that against the thing. I'm just, it's very confusing. It's kind of the theme of the worst. They're very strange. Is it really? Yeah. Are you joking? No. Okay. I wonder if other the worst come with such. I do like that he immediately checked with you, <laughs> just to verify. <laughs> I think I'm going three hammers on this. There are some obvious pluses, like the paint and sculpt, except I would like a more traditional paint scheme. So while I can appreciate that the paint is done well, I also disagree with the paint color choices. Um <laughs> He comes with a good amount of accessories. He's like 70s wood paneling. Yeah. I hated that. Well, you weren't alive in the 70s, were you? But vehicles were still around. Uh, I'm aware housing and vehicles, movies exist. You gotta live in it, man. (laughs) My grandma's car. Wood paneling. Anyway, he... Look at the the paint on his foot. I know. He's got It's well done. It's crazy. I just don't... I know. It's fine. Here's a quick tangent. Sure. I grew up in a room that was orange and brown. Oh. I have some strong feelings <laughs> about orange and brown. How come this didn't come up during uh, Orange Piccolo? I was saving it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I'm saying I'm saying the, the pluses and minuses equal out to three hammers. Okay. Man, if would you guys go insane if I said I gave him five hammers because the cape reminds me of Mage's 
jacket from the uh, whatever that toy line was in the 2000. You even you don't even know what I'm no, talking about. No, but uh, <laughs> I would I would get you checked out because you gave this thing five hammers. You gotta be kidding me. I, I'm gonna give him three and a half. Okay. If he had more range in his elbows and his waist, I'd I'd like him a lot more, and his knees for that matter. Uh, I love the paint. I knew that he looked goofy. That's what they're going for. That's all of them look weird. The cape looks like. Like, I literally, I mean, they literally took extra Kevin Matchstick Mage figures from, I think it was Big Bang Boom, or they made Mage, Grendel, Hellboy, Madman, hmm. Eight Inch Guys, and 98, 99, they made the Clerks toys, and Mage, Kevin Matchstick has a coat that is, like, that color and that same stitching, and I'm like, oh, they just took an extra one, cut it up, and they put a little snap on it. I do like that the holes in the cape don't quite line up because it's two layers. Oh, yeah. That's that's something I thought I would never see, but that's well done. I'm pretty sure that's because they put the two layers, cut holes, and then it doesn't sit quite flush. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, three and a half, he, he's, he's fine. Uh, he's not the worst. Oh! Snap. Um... Would I buy him knowing that this is what he'd be like? No. Are we going to have to suffer through a couple more Super 7 reviews? Yeah. <laughs> but everything's so late, you know. Maybe not. Maybe it'll get canceled. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Tip your servers. Actually, don't tip your servers. I just heard out that they now get minimum wage in Chicago. So they get fifteen or seventeen ninety an hour plus tips. Wow! Like, can you imagine how much food is going to cost downtown Chicago? Totally off tangent. Tip your servers. Uh, thank Wilson for showing up sometimes. Thank thank Toast for being a great production manager and putting up with all our stupid shit. Uh, thanks Super Seven for giving me a toy that at least be on my shelf somewhere. Call your mom. She misses you. <laughs>